I've come to tell you today that ignorance is deadly. Your ignorance of the word of God is the only effective weapon an enemy can use against you. And I can prove it. As you can read in Hosea, it reads, My people are destroyed from lack of knowledge because you have rejected knowledge. I also reject you as my priest because you have ignored the law of your God. I also will ignore your children. But see, this is the thing where I want you guys to realize and understand. That scripture proves everything upon the ignorance of what people speak about. And it's not the fact of demons or not the fact of enemies, but destruction it only occurs to the ignorant. Watch this, because God is a God of knowledge and wisdom. And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him in the spirit of wisdom. So therefore, the spirit is of knowledge. As you can see in Isaiah 11, uh, verse 1 and 2, you can also go and check out Ephesians 1, 17. But here's the thing I want to show you. A remarkable photograph of Jesus is provided for us in Matthew, where it gives us a clear understanding upon who he is and what he stood for and the knowledge that we can learn from him as he's on his fast. His body is weakened, but watch this. There alone without the encouragement of multitudes cheering him, the Satan approached him, taunting, tempting, and revealing to his natural senses what the responses of Jesus was and what it was about. But see, it's so effective because Jesus knew the word because he wasn't ignorant to the fact of the word because of what Satan was trying to place upon him. And this is where we get our wisdom from. Now watch this. Jesus spoke the word and this was the word that he had spoken. Watch this because of the knowledge that he had because see he wasn't ignorant to the fact of the word and a lot of us become ignorant to the fact of the word and this is why we get ourselves caught in a snare or get ourselves caught up in things that we shouldn't be caught up in because see you got to remember when the latter speaks the word the people will live the word of god and this is the thing watch this because the prince of his presence is time the purpose of his presence is change the product of his presence is holiness, just like the goal of Satan is ignorance. And this is the only weapon that he's had and he tried to use against us. So we have to be aware and we have to be fully on guard behind these certain attacks that may come against us, which it would be out of ignorance. So us Christians must come to understand and to know that we must gain wisdom by the word of God. And prosperity is knowledge and wisdom upon the word of God. So I hope that this has reached somebody and touched somebody in a way they can get the true understanding of what this all means. So therefore, you can have the understanding. Standing. So therefore, you're not ignorant to the fact when somebody try to come and preach to you uh, garbage or preach to you things that is false. And these why you have to watch watch for false teachers because they will mislead you and misguide you because they're not fully bringing the truth. Because you got to remember, watch this. Satan does not fear your depression. God will enter and drive it away. Watch this again. Satan does not fear your poverty. God will provide. Because see, Satan always want to bring upon things that you feel, watch this, that will decay you. But see, that's not the case because God will always overturn every and anything in our circumstances and situations because Satan fears your discovery of the word of God. And this is what you got to watch for. So I hope this has fed you in a way. I'm Pastor Mark and I love you. And the reason why I'm doing these videos this way, because it's not about me. I don't want to be seen anymore. It's about Christ at the end of the day. And that's what it should be. God bless you. And I love you all until next time. May the Lord stay with you.